Welcome back to another episode. It's been a while. Um, not many shows to go to, but we've been uh, entered into the Concours de Elegance show at Hampton Court Palace, which is just down the road. So I thought I would do a bit more on both cars. So the first thing I've done on the Ferrari is taken the brushless motor out and the brushless speed control that wasn't really working for me. Um, the reverse was the, the big sort of difficulty really. Couldn't really get that to work properly. And it was very coggy low down. So I've gone back to a brush type motor setup with a 4QD DNO 10, which is what the Porsche uses as a speed control. So put that in there. Uh, so now the forward and reverse switch works um, and it's all good. Uh, it's quite talky. This will go to 48 volts uh, so I can run it on different battery setups. That one's just a four cell I think. Can't see it listed on there. Um, but yeah, use a couple of those. And they're quite easy to fit in there. So I'm just doing a bit more trimming and changing some bits like uh, this trim that goes round the window is just stick on plastic trim, which is not very good. So I've got some welding wire, uh, which is five millimeters diameter. And then what I'm going to do is bend that to go round the window both sides and then sand down half of it so that I can polish it and it will stay polished because it's alley and it'll just be a bit nicer than the stick on plastic trim that's on there at the moment. I'm going to do the same thing with the door strip, the one that runs along there um, and finish all the dashboard and switch gear and the lights. Uh, and trim the seats. Let's just go to the next stage of that. So these were the seats, just uh, bits of alley that hooked over on the frame and it had some padding on it, which is what the glue is there or the remnants of the glue is there from. So this is next stage. Uh, so thinning it down a bit adding sides these are pot riveted and stuck with seeker flex to hold a bit of shape still hooking over the beams for the tubes front and rear and that makes it a bit more rigid with the 3d shape and then there's a nice lead into the bolster at the side and then just a case of covering them in leather and some suede here's one i did earlier uh, so the original car had this same colour leather uh, and the suede centres. So I got some leather to do that and the sides are padded and rolled over so there's no sharp edges. Uh, so I just need to cover the other seat. And then we're going to do some trimming in the back. This rod got bent when I dropped something on it. It's been a bit difficult to get to straighten. I'm going to straighten that out and do some trimming uh, like a rear board across there and get the dashboard in and switch gear and everything and the centre console covered. Lots to do. So for the centre section of the seat I'm using uh, a yoga mat because it's really lightweight, foam, easy to glue, easy to shape. I just cut it to a rough shape and then where it's got little bits sticking out, the easiest thing to do is to chamfer it. You see I've started to chamfer it with a knife here and then I'll run some 120 grit or 80 grit paper, sandpaper over the edge and it just softens the square cut that it's got and just lets the um, suede just going to cover it with this blue suede just lets the suede roll over the edge so there's no sharp corners 
well not really sharp but hard corners so that is the feathered edge just where i've run some paper over it some of it sort of slightly tears but it gives it a nice soft round edge so when i cover it with the suede it looks smooth uh, so we don't get any creases across the uh, covered piece in the centre because if I was to cover this flat and then fold it around in the crease of the seat it would end up with um, lots of creases across here so what I'm going to do is put it on the reverse of the seat so when I've got the right profile and then I'm going to glue it on here so I've got that profile and there's no creases in it and then when I turn it over it should fit in there and uh, be crease free and that is covered uh, I've got a tiny little crease there I'm hoping that will disappear Another tiny little one there but yeah that is a pair of seats let's get the dash in So that is the interior sort of trimmed. I've added the um, vinyl rear sort of uh, parcel shelf, uh, which goes up onto the back of the rear quarters. I've used the same, uh, it's like vinyl that's embossed for the center console. Got a couple of switches for lights and ignition. I've added a, I think it's a four, 430 badge from Ferrari just to make it look a bit more bling inside <laughs> um, and then I've used the same plastic to do uh, matting inside just so it's easier to wipe clean uh, and that goes along the, the sill as well uh, so that is about it for episode 55 uh, I know it's been a long time thank you for watching